What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. You're welcome to Live Nature's TV, the home of comedies, trendy news and viral stories. This is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. Let's say may God bless you for stopping by. Please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be notified each time we drop our valuable content, such as our comedies, viral stories, or trending videos. To every return subscriber, I really thank you and appreciate your free support. So may God bless you all. So good people, I'm right here with another trending story. I'm enjoying seeing that themes. They're telling you her experience in a small dingy prison. I think from when she was picked up from a hotel to when she was discharged. The singer stated that she thought it was a joke at first, but when she got to the prison and was handed a uniform, it then dawned on her and she cried. No details of the story. The Nigerian singer team has shared further detail of a two full days of incarceration in a Uganda jail in 2020, bringing her court charges along with Omele. According to Tim, she struggled to adjust to being in prison relatively, relatively fast because she was cut off from the outside world during her detention. She described her time in a tiny rundown prison, beginning with her pickup from her hotel in an interview with Angie Martinez. She stated that at first she thought it was a prank, but after arriving at the prison and receiving a half week, everything seemed far too real and started to cry. Tim said, I thought I wasn't gonna come out. I thought I was seeing it from a reason like maybe I was meant to help the people. I was I was settling in because I adapted real quick and I and I as I was walking in I started to cry because they gave me my uniform and it stunk because they don't wash it. It was a small room and there was nothing. There's just the floor they give you blankets and tissues and you're just on the floor. No bed and I did it for two days. I don't even know I was going to get out. I didn't have any year on the ground. Nobody told me anything. Outside everyone was like three teams, three or monthly. But inside, I was just hopeful, hopeful, hopefully waiting. Even while she remained optimistic, she did not believe she could be able to go any, do anything. Sorry, please. Even while she remained optimistic, she did not believe she could be able to go anytime soon. She observed that the woman she bonded with in the prison were essentially locked up for the most insignificant of, of reasons, and that some were kept in by guards, by guards who were paid to do so. The jail structure, structure prohibited inmates from making phone calls unless they had money, which she lacked. The singer mentioned that she entertained the ladies at the prison by waking at them when she walked in. According to her, she needed nerves to adapt fast and most importantly, it prevents her from crying. She was visited by the woman in charge of the women jails. She gave her an explanation of the rules and the consequences of disobeying them. She stated that this solitary confinement constitutes the ultimate punishment without food or drink. They fed them once a day, and we found they had to kneel to communicate with officials. 
She added that she didn't eat throughout her two days in the Ugandan prison. She recalled that Omar Lee and team performed at the big brunch on December 12, 2020, at the Spike Resort, Wavamuno Road, Kampala, Uganda. In their, following their performance, Uganda police prosecuted them in court for violating COVID 19 law during the lockdown. They have come to the end of the, of the story of our team and Graham Popper Singer. Narrating the, uh, my experience in Uganda prison in 2020 with Omali. Please do not forget to like and share this video. And also turn on the notification bell so you will be notified of our content. Please do drop your comment as well as leave on the comment section. Bye for now and see you guys in the next video.